Brad Smith, Director of Instruction here at Heatherwood, and we have the luxury of having Austin hit a shot for us, and we're going to talk to Austin how he thinks through the, the, the process of playing golf. So we're here on number 10 at uh, Heatherwood, and we're trying to play a shot where we have trouble on the left-hand side and a little bit on the right side, but the right side I don't feel comes into play that much. So way I usually would do it, I would tee up, since I play a draw, I'm gonna play on the left side of the tee, away from trouble, teeing away from trouble. So it's all about angles. So if your angle is better from one side or the other, that's what you're gonna to try to do. So Austin likes to play a fade with his driver. However, he plays a draw with most of his other clubs. So we're gonna to talk to him about how he would play this hole. So we have a dog leg left, and with this yardage book that he's used to using through college and now as a professional, he's going to look at the yardages and know how he's going to be playing this hole. It also shows him how, if, the, if he knows where the pin is, where he needs to come in from also. So he may change his strategy where the hole is. So on this hole, we know the pin is on the right-hand side, so he's probably going to play a draw, but we're going to ask him. So how would you play this hole and tell me how you, what you're thinking in this process? Yeah, so I'm definitely always going to try to hit a draw on this one just because of the dog leg left and because of how the trees kind of interfere with if you were to hit a fade. Um, some guys like to take it up top and can kind of fade one over the corner. I like to just drop back a club. A three wood for me draws a little bit easier, so I can aim just a little bit right at that 150 marker out there and just try to shape one from right to left around the corner a little bit to give myself a good chance. Yeah, because he sees on this here, he sees that the cut is pretty, I mean, how far do you hit your driver or your three wood? I carry it anywhere from 265 to 270. Yeah, so he, he can cut the corner pretty easily without any trouble. So that's what he's trying to do. So, and I think he likes to tee up on one side or the other, depending on the shot. With, where, which side do you want to tee up on? With, with the draw, definitely I would tee up more on the left side of the box. Okay, um, perfect. This hole, sometimes I might tee up a little bit more right, depending on where the tee box is located. If it's on the far left side, I would definitely go a little bit right, just to give myself a little bit more visual of the fairway. Good. But today, with the tee box more centered, I'll, I'll tee up on the left side to give myself the room to hit the draw on this shot. Perfect, so it's all about angles. Perfect, so let's see how he does this. And one thing you should be watching, he runs a great routine. Very important. Why do you run routine, Austin? Uh, it's important to keep it the same uh, over every shot. Uh, so I have a checklist, kind of you could say, that I go through in my head, um, and it's just a system to keep keep me in the in the shot and make sure I do it every shot beforehand. So it's all about staying focused. Absolutely perfect. Great shot. Thank you. Is that pretty much what you visualized? Yeah, definitely. Very, very close to what I visualized. Maybe wanted a little bit Just further, a little further left, left. But yeah. I mean, I'll take that 10 times out of 10. Yeah, it's in the middle of the fairway, so yeah. Just a little more left. Yeah. yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah, good job. No complaints there. Thank you. That is exactly how professionals do it here. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Thank you.